opening our list of our most anticipated PC games is Call of Duty World War II. Activision's latest entry to the Call of Duty franchise takes you to the height of World War II. Step into the shoes of these brave soldiers as they take part in the war that changed the world. The game's campaign takes you to the memorable battles such as the iconic Normandy Beach skirmish. Experience their brotherhood in a gripping action-packed adventure. Call a friend and go on co-op campaign missions. Perhaps the biggest overhaul is its multiplayer mode. March into popular battle zones during the Second World War and gather your friends for a fast-paced shoot fest. It's one of Activision's biggest releases this year, and it's coming to the PC this November 3rd. At number 24 is Life is Strange Before the Storm. Before Don't Nod releases a sequel to their critically acclaimed adventure, a new studio is also attempting a prequel starring the rebellious blue-haired protagonist and her relationship with Rachel. Set before Max's return, Deck Nine's three-part series will have less of the mysterious, time-manipulating tricks of the original, choosing to focus more on the highs and lows of Chloe's troubled life. With the same quick-time events, players will become more immersed in the narrative, as each decision will leave them with occasionally unwanted yet permanent consequences. It's a unique take on the series' coming-of-age themes, and we hope it does justice to it. It's set to release on August 31st. Number 23 is The Crew 2. Conquer sky, sea, and streets with every vehicle you can imagine, and all around the United States. That's the promise of The Crew's latest entry, taking open-world motorsports to a whole new level. While their last title was a little rough on the edges, this new installment aims to silence all doubts and shine like a newly polished gem. Make a splash, glide through the air, and zoom through the tracks with cars, boats, and planes all rendered in beautifully detailed style. Let's hope the driving physics are better this time. It's set to release early 2018. At number 22 is State of Decay 2. Undead Labs is reinvigorating their successful zombie survival formula in this sequel to their 2013 game of the same name. Step in the infected suburbs of their vast open world and work together with your band of survivors to live another day. Their biggest addition is the cooperative multiplayer that lets you roam around the decaying streets with up to three other people, opening up various fun opportunities for the players. With its open world rideable cars and permanent deaths, it's the perfect way to put your zombie apocalypse theories to the test. It's set to release on the second quarter of 2018. Standing at number 21 is Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. After the five years of development, the popular action RPG is coming back to give you a better dose of their epic medieval fantasy. A prequel of their 2010 debut, the game is set 200 years before the events of the original and during the decline of the Caloradian Empire. Set yourself up for some classic warfare as you mount your horse and ride into their improved full-scale castle sieges. Or you can make use of its sandbox gameplay to enhance your reputation or fight against lowly bandits with their complex and satisfying combat. No official release date yet, but the hype keeps going on. Number 20 is A Way Out One of the breakout titles of this year's E3, A Way Out is an exclusively cooperative game that puts you in the shoes of two convicted brothers trying to find a way out of prison. It marks the return of split-screen gaming as you and your friend guide both of them through environmental puzzles from each of their perspectives. Directed by the same man who led Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, it has much of the same moving brotherly themes, creating a game that's both emotionally fulfilling and technically innovative. It's a whole new way to tell a video game story and it's set to release early 2018. At number 19 is FIFA 18. One of the most awaited annual sports releases, the newest FIFA title will pack a handful of surprises. Of course, that doesn't include their choice for this year's cover athlete. After the record-breaking win in La Liga and the Champions League, EA has decided against another popular vote to put Cristiano Ronaldo on center stage. As for the game, they've enhanced the experience with the usual visual tweaks with a brand new chapter for Alex Hunter and their flagship mode, The Journey. Show off your skills on the pitch and rise through the ranks of the football hierarchy. It's set to release this September 29th. Number 18 is Skull and Bones. Ubisoft's newest IP seeks to continue the pirate misadventures started by Assassin's Creed's Black Flag. Removing the disgusting realities of historically accurate seafaring expeditions, they're giving you the complete pirate package wrapped in an enjoyable multiplayer. Build your own fleet, customize your ships, raid the others for their precious treasures, and compete in stunning 5v5 battles. While it doesn't offer the thrill of exploring the islands, it does let you revel in the spectacular barrage of cannons with their improved ship versus ship combat. It's set to release on the fourth quarter of 2018. Number 17 is Dragon Ball Fighter Z. From the creators of Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear, Arc System Works is adding their own twist to Dragon Ball's long list of fighting games. Judging by the looks of it, it's gonna be amazing. 
combining the awesome cast of characters in iconic locations with their trademark cinematics and smooth combat. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is shaping up to become this year's biggest fighting game release. Step into the shoes of Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and more, and recreate the anime's greatest moments using the fluid mechanical quirks of one of the most renowned developers of this generation. It's a Dragon Ball game we've all been waiting for, and it's coming this 2018. Number 16 is Forza Motorsport 7. Appearing as a Microsoft exclusive, Forza Motorsport 7 successfully showcased the capabilities of the newest Xbox One X with their hyper-realistic cars and environments in native 4K resolutions and 60 frames per second. But even without the 4K support, Turn 10 Studios claims it's one of the most beautiful Forza games to date, making use of advanced graphical techniques to improve ambient occlusions, lighting, and shaders. Choose from over 700 different cars, including the mouth-watering Porsche Cover Star, tweak it into its most optimized performance, and brave the dynamic weather system. It's set to release this October 3rd. Number 15 is Crackdown 3. Destruction gets a step to another level in Crackdown's first title in over 7 years. Reagent Games and Sumo Digital are giving you a whole new world to explore and raise to the ground. With their cloud-based calculations for the environmental decimation, it's gonna be one hell of a multiplayer game as you compete for the highest scores, more importantly, the biggest explosions. Bring along some friends and share the campaign experience as you collect orbs and tackle towering bosses. While the mayhem is still on, you might want to be careful who you piss off. Enjoy some more over-the-top action once it releases on November 7, 2017. At number 14 is Cuphead. An indie platformer with the heart and creativity of a AAA game. Introduced as a Microsoft exclusive, dive into its artistic landscape set to the style of old-timey cartoons that are reminiscent of Disney's much older collection. Fulfill your end of a demonic bargain and guide the porcelain-headed protagonist through a series of bosses in this run-and-gun platformer. It offers a world so strange and full of whimsy you probably don't want to stop, and you have no reason to with your set of infinite lives. It's the first one to capture the unique vintage style in modern times, and fans are eagerly awaiting its arrival, coming this September 29th. Number 13 is South Park The Fractured Butthole. We could never remove this game on our list. This sequel to Ubisoft's critically acclaimed Stick of Truth game takes you to the realm of superhero movie franchises in the form of a silly civil war. Meet the boys of South Park, Colorado, and witness their superhero transformations in the most ridiculous ways. As silly as it may sound, the game is very creative. Censorship issues aside, this next entry offers a new gameplay mechanic in the form of grid-based combat. Be the new kid and use your time-bending fart powers in an effort to quell a rising threat. Meet the iconic characters from the South Park universe and help them in their little problems. It's coming this October 17th. Number 12 is Code Vein. Bandai Namco's newest IP puts you in the place of a bloodthirsty vampire fighting in tough skill-based battles against nightmarish monsters. Set in a post-apocalyptic Earth, you play as a revenant, struggling to escape the vicious region of Vein. It feels a lot like Dark Souls with its tactical combat system, gloomy world, and gritty storylines. Absorb the powers of your fallen enemies and use them to increase your own abilities. For those craving for a new Dark Souls experience, this just might be the game for you. It's set to release sometime in 2018. At number 11 is Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Announced during Microsoft's presentation during this year's E3, the beloved adventures of our favorite cat-like forest spirit has returned. This sequel is currently still in development, and the trailer they released shows us their signature hand-painted visuals and colorful backdrops. However, Darkness looms over the horizon, and we're afraid Ori might be saving the troubled forest once more. The original game delivered a good experience for Metroidvania fans, bringing a sense of accomplishment to every difficult scenario. It's beautiful, fluid, and emotional. We're hoping this game gets a release date soon. Number 10 is The Evil Within 2. The nightmare continues in Bethesda's upcoming sequel to their underrated horror game. It continues the original story. Return to the shoes of Sebastian Castellanos as he finds out the deeper mysteries of his haunted psyche. This time, Shinji Mikami is no longer taking center stage, but acts as a producer. Nonetheless, expect more nightmare-inducing monsters that will trouble you in your sleep. The only reveal during this year's E3 was a cinematic trailer with a glimpse of gameplay. It shows how unnerving the game is getting, and from the looks of it, it's scary as fuck. It's coming this year during October's Friday the 13th. Number 9 is Middle-Earth Shadow of War Return to the fields of Middle-Earth in the satisfying Tolkien Generator game. A sequel to Monolith's Shadow of Mordor, 
where injured Talion and Celebrimbor's lust for revenge isn't over. No longer shackled by the hands of Sauron, they set out to the rest of Middle-earth in an effort to amass an army worthy of the Bright Lord. Together, they take down orc strongholds and leaders, unleash the warlord within you and utilize the game's enhanced nemesis system, craft your own stories by manipulating orc leaders or creating your own. Its third-person hack-and-slash gameplay is also refined, making orc sling more gratifying. It's set to release this October 10th. Number 8 is Far Cry 5. Move away from the chilly mountains of Kirat and step into a fictional rural county in Montana. Inside this mysterious town lies a religious cult capable of tearing down anyone who stands in their way. It's a matter of survival as you get torn between a place where cult leaders handle their idea in the most extreme ways. This first-person shooter returns with all new surprises and dangerous wildlife. If it ain't the religious extremists, then the fauna will be a major problem in your adventure. Ever since Primal, Ubisoft is starting to learn from their mistakes and hopefully, this might be the best Far Cry game yet. It's scheduled to release this February 27, 2018. Assassin's Creed Origins Ancient Egypt awaits the initiated. This upcoming entry of Ubisoft's popular science fiction franchise takes you to the origins of the Assassin Brotherhood. Follow Bayek, a man with a troubled past as he takes down corrupt officials that rob Egypt of its freedom to grow. Followed by his pet eagle, Senu, together they build the foundation of the series' story. Compared to their previous locations, Egypt isn't a place where skyscrapers were a thing. Instead, step into ancient temples and climb the Great Pyramids in search for the truth. Players can also traverse the desert and dive underwater. It's the most diverse AC game to date, and we hope it doesn't disappoint the fans this time. It's coming this October 27, 2017. Number 6 is Metro Exodus. Based on Dmitry Glukovsky's novel, the survival horror shooter takes you to the radioactive wastes of Moscow after a chaotic nuclear war. Think of it as a Russian version of Bethesda's Fallout series, but darker and grittier. It's set after the events of Metro Last Light. Ever since its first game, fans have been dying to experience an open-world Metro game where anyone can go above the surface and vice versa. Similar to the previous games, gameplay involves a mixture between first-person shooter and stealth elements. Encounter mutated creatures and hostile human beings in this irradiated dystopian world. Fans have been comparing it to Stalker's hopeful sequel. It's scheduled to release sometime this 2018. Number 5 is Monster Hunter World. For the veterans, this franchise was once considered as the first Dark Souls. Ever since the first game, players have been up to the extreme challenge of taking down a compendium of badass monsters with the help of their friends. Capcom's latest entry, however, takes it beyond. Finally, it's a PC game. Experience a living and breathing world where the entire ecosystem of Monster Hunter Beasts roam specific lands. Its biggest improvement lies in its online play. Co-op has always been the staple for MH games, and this latest entry packs a huge overhaul. Team up with your friends in the biggest monster hunting quest that you can ever have. It's scheduled to release sometime this 2018. Number 4 is Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus Bethesda paints the town red in this latest sequel to their acclaimed Wolfenstein series. Set in an alternate timeline where the Nazis won World War II, return to the shoes of BJ Blazkowicz as he wakes up from a coma again. After the events of the New Order, the Nazi-controlled world sets up a whole new threat to the United States of America. This game, much like its predecessors, is visually pleasing. From the fast-paced first-person shooter action to the thick blood spilled by your enemies. Face off mutated creatures, Nazis, and hopefully Hitler once again. Get ready for more intense action sequences because this game is scheduled to release this October 27, 2017. Number 3 is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Return to the Battlefront in DICE's upcoming sci-fi shooter based on George Lucas's critically acclaimed franchise. Get ready to fly into a galaxy far, far away and engage in beautiful galactic-scale space combat with you and your friends. The game also comes with a gripping single-player story. Multiplayer is as grand as ever. DICE manages to include more content from the new movies, such as characters like Kylo Ren, Rey, and even Darth Maul. Awaken the Force and show the enemies who's better, the dark side or the light. The game is scheduled to release this November 17, 2017. Number 2 is Destiny 2. Bungie awakens their new form of legends in this much-awaited sequel. This is the first Destiny game to ever release on the PC. Now partnered with Blizzard, they're gonna use Blizzard's client to run the game. 
Similar to its original, Destiny gives players the ability to scour the vastness of the solar system and fight enemies that threaten the nature of the light. In this sequel, the world needs a new legend and it's your task to step up. Be a guardian and harness the power of the light with the amount of customizable weapons and armor depending on your class. It's one of the most anticipated games of this year and it's finally coming this October 24. And our most anticipated game so far is Anthem. Though this game may not be for everyone, Bioware's new IP manages to take us on the hype train. With Mass Effect Andromeda shenanigans, it's time they make up for their mistakes and give you a worthy science fiction shooter with reasonable facial animations. From the team that gave us Mass Effect 1 and 2 comes a game that will let you embrace exploration and action with your friends. It's a cooperative multiplayer experience with beautiful landscapes and badass exosuits. It's also a game 10 years in the making. If this turns out to be good, then we can always forgive them for Andromeda. But who knows? It has no release date yet, but expect more news once 2018 hits.